Gain gold and favor from the gods as you sail the Mediterranean as a Roman merchant. In this video, we focus on the game components and rules for Neptune, designed by Dirk Hen and published by Queen Games. The game is played over three game rounds, consisting of three phases. Phase 1, Acquire Contracts, consists of five rounds. Phase 2, Fulfill Contracts. This phase consists of five regular game rounds and up to two extra rounds. Phase 3 is Scoring. A contract consists of a card drawn face down from each of the three stacks of cards. A city card, goods card, and an ore card. The number of contracts available at the start of a game round is the number of players plus one. When choosing a contract, the first player reveals the leftmost contract. He may then acquire this contract or reject it, keeping in mind that once he rejects a contract, that contract is no longer available to him this round. If the contract is rejected, the player moves on to reveal the next contract. Again, this player can acquire this contract or reject it. The next player has to decide to take one of the face-up contracts or reject them all and reveal the next contract, if there are any contracts to reveal. All players must acquire a contract. As soon as a player acquires a contract, they must load it. Loading means the player assigns the contract's city card and goods card to any unoccupied slot of their contract chart. Then the player moves their player order marker from the player order scale to the ore scale that corresponds to the number of ores on the contract's ore card and adds the ore card to their hand. This will determine the player order for the next round of acquiring contracts. After all players have taken a contract, move the remaining contract to the left and place a gold coin on it. New contracts are drawn face down. Phase 1 is repeated four times so that all players have acquired five contracts and they are loaded onto their contract chart. In Phase 2, contracts are fulfilled. At the beginning of each of these five rounds, the trade wins are determined for the next round, giving players insight for the following round. All rounds start with a base of five. Each player chooses an ore card from their hand and reveals them simultaneously. Add the number in the upper half from all cards. Mark this total on the forecast portion of the trade wins chart. To deliver goods, take the number from the bottom half of your ore card and then the number from the trade wins chart to determine how far you can travel. The distance between two cities is shown on the distance markers placed at the beginning of the game. There are sea links and deep sea links, all color-coded to the sea routes they belong to. A player can move from city to city as long as they have the movement for it. A player's movement is finished when he stops to fill a contract or runs out of movement. When a contract is filled, a player takes their payment of gold or temple points. Contracts should be delivered working from left to right on their contract chart. If a contract is skipped over in favor of another, that contract is lost as well as any other unfilled contracts behind it in the sequence. Turn the affected contracts over in the contract chart. This is why the choosing of contracts and the loading of contracts takes some thought during Phase 1. Gold can be used to buy nautical miles, which can get you to that city you need, or temple points. If your contract is paid in temple points, move your marker up the temple track. Being in first place on a temple track at the end of a game round will win you a temple marker point chip. During the first round of play, each temple has one temple marker point chip. At the beginning of the second round, another temple marker chip is added, and during the third round, yet another. These are the points a player will add together at the end of a game to determine the winner. If one or more players still have unfulfilled contracts at the end of round 5, these players may elect to play a round 5.1 or even a 5.2. Trade wins are determined with only the players participating in these additional rounds. Once these rounds are completed, first, second, and third place points are awarded to each player at each temple. 
Bonus points are awarded to the player that has successfully delivered all five of their contracts. All unfulfilled or skipped contracts are then wiped from the player's contract chart. Boats are moved back to Crete and Phase 1 through 3 are repeated two more times. At the end of the game, players add their temple points and any bonus point tiles they may have. Highest score wins. Neptune, the new game from Queen Games.